So welcome to today's uh, talk about Discover Hearts. My name is Brad Johnson. I'm the regional manager here at the University of Hertfordshire. I'm also an alumni of the University of Hertfordshire and I studied a marketing degree with the university between 2012 and 2015. And I also recently completed my master's within the business school. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the University of Hertfordshire today, uh, show you some of the things um, around um, and also share with you some uh, areas. So the best bit about the University of Hertfordshire, in my opinion, is our campuses. We have two campuses, uh, one on the de Havilland campus, uh, which is business, humanities, education and law, as well as our College Lane campus, which is engineering, computer science, physics, creative arts, health and life sciences. We've got 125 acres of leafy campus life and cutting edge facilities just outside London. Um, so when I say just outside London, what I mean by that is we are 25 minute train ride from the UK's capital city, London. So this means, um, and the trains are really regular, that you can live on our campus, study on our campus with loads of green space that you can see from this picture. Um, but also if you want to go into London for work or to explore our capital, um, it's a really great place to study. It's also a lot more affordable than uh, London is uh, in terms of accommodation. The other great thing about where Hertfordshire is positioned, obviously when you go into London, uh, the train goes into King's Cross Station, which is uh, famous, um, you'll know from Harry Potter, but also it's a great interchange um, to go elsewhere. So um, you can go up to Edinburgh from King's Cross on a direct train, or if you just go across the road to St Pancras, which is connected to King's Cross, um, you can go to France um, if you want to as well, or Belgium on a direct train, the Eurostar. So it's a great place um, to stage yourself for your studies. So this is our first campus, it's College Lane. It's our largest campus and it's our oldest campus as well. You can see how uh, vast it is here and this picture um, doesn't show the whole campus. Um, you can see at the back of the photo is our accommodation um, and we've got over 4,000 rooms on this campus. Um, we've also got loads of teaching facilities and as you can see from it as well, lots of amazing green space uh, for you to relax. Um, just a few buildings to highlight and I'll talk to them um, in a little bit more detail. At the top, the green building is our £50 million science building. Um, the white building just to the right of it um, is our library. Um, then at the far left is our film, media and music building. And then in the far right um, is the Forum Hertfordshire and the Ellie House, which is the um, entertainment buildings for the campus. Um, at the top, um, you'll see a little oval building next to two sports pitches. That's the gym facilities on this campus. They're open 24 seven and you can see there's two sports pitches there as well. On de Havilland, it's our slightly smaller campus, um, but it's where business, humanities, education and law are taught. At the, top of the build, at the top of the image there, you can see our law building, which includes a replica crown court. And we've got 1,500 rooms on this campus, all en suite. And we also have a large sports village on this campus as well, um, as well as a restaurant as well. The sports village has a swimming pool, rock climbing wall, sports pitches, both indoor and outdoor, as well as a gym which has cardio, resistance weights and free weights. So we've got 24,600 students here at the University of Hertfordshire. Approximately 4,000 are from um, overseas, uh, so international students, and around about 20,000 are home students, so from the United Kingdom. So it's a great place to study if you want to meet people from the UK, but also uh, meet people from around the world. So this is our one of the first buildings I'm going to talk about. So this is our Law Court building on the de Havilland campus. The Law Court building um, was built about uh, 10 years ago. Um, it's got uh, classrooms in there where we teach business and law, uh, but it's also got a cafe and it's also got our replica crown court. So students studying the LLB um, or the LLM will study in a replica crown court and we've got a picture to show you a little bit about that later. Um, it's an amazing building, it's recognised as one of the best law teaching buildings in the world. Um, and as you can see, it's a really modern building, which actually is the same across a lot of our campus. A lot of our buildings are really modern um, and great learning spaces. The science building um, on College Lane, um, which I told you about slightly earlier, um, it was opened in 2016. Um, it's a 50 million pound building. Um, you can see it's across four stories. So in there, we've got a um, hospital simulation ward. Um, we've got a mock pharmacy. So anyone doing a pharmacy course can do um, uh, dispensing training. 
and um, it's also got loads of um, computer rooms for geography as well as pharmacy and it's got a, a, a vast amount of chemistry pharmaceutical and biology laboratories as well it's a really modern building um, it's got top of the range um, equipment in there um, so industry standard equipment and um, so it means that if you're studying with us in this building you'll be learning on the equipment that um, industry uses the next building is the Enterprise Hub. Now, this is a brand new building. It opened um, on the 16th of March. Um, and so this is a new teaching building on our de Havilland campus and it sits opposite the Law Court building. Um, on the ground floor, it's got a huge flexible space um, for you to study at your own speed. It's also got a, a bar and cafe area as well. So if you want to study, but don't want to study in the libraries, um, you've got loads of space in here as well. There's also some classrooms in there. Um, and also in a really amazing balcony that gives great views of the local area. So this is a 12 million pound investment we made onto this campus um, and really enhances it. Um, and you can see how modern it is as well. So this is one of our libraries. Um, so this is the library on College Lane, the Learning Resources Centre, as we call them. Um, across the university, we've probably got about um, a half a million books um, as well as millions of e-resources. So it means you can study in your room, but you can also study on campus. These are open 24 seven, both of them, uh, one on College Lane and one on De Havilland. Um, it's about three stories high and it has a cafe in there as well. So if you want to grab some food while you're studying, it's a great place to study. Um, to give you a, um, an element of scale, um, this is approximately the same size as the Boeing 747 hangar. Um, obviously the jumbo jet, obviously well known, but uh, in terms of size, it's about that large. So if you think when you go on a Boeing 747, how big they are, this is about the same size as a Boeing 747 hangar. For students studying creative arts courses with us, we've got a vast um, amount of creative arts buildings. So we've got the film, music and media building, which I talked about earlier. But this is our gallery. So this is a live exhibition space where we feature work from our students, but we also feature work from local artists as well. And this is a dynamic space. So you'll work, walk in there one week and it'll have an installation, but you can come back three weeks later and it'll be a completely different art installation as well. And we also have our on-campus um, degree show as well, where we feature student art um, around about May, June time. And this is also where all the workshops are, um, our fashion floor. So if you're studying fashion design with us, um, you'll have access to our fashion um, design area. And it's also where our graphic design, illustration and fine art programmes are taught. So this is a great space. Again, it's got a flexible area so you can study there as well. Um, and it's also got a cafe as well. So if you want to grab a coffee while you're studying, um, you can go and grab a coffee from there. So non-academic now, this is the Forum Hertfordshire. This is our £36 million pound, um, entertainment complex on College Lane campus. It's got a cocktail bar, a nightclub, and a auditorium in there as well, where we host live gigs and shows. Um, it's also got a restaurant, a shop, a Starbucks, and a subway as well. As, uh, so it's a great place to hang out with friends between studies. Um, and this, you can see at the bottom of the picture, is the bus interchange as well. So all of the buses on the Unobus uh, network, which is the university's owned bus company, um, stop here as well as stopping on the de Havilland campus as well. So we're here to power, uh, power your potential. Um, we're in the top 200 universities under 50 in the Times Higher. So we're a great place um, to study and that's a global ranking. Um, it's a great place to learn with us. Um, and we also enable you to achieve the career goals that you want to achieve. So one of the practical facilities we have is on our nursing degrees. So we have um, a series of nursing degrees at undergraduate. So we've got adult nursing, child nursing, mental health nursing and learning disability nursing. And then at the MSc, we've got a conversion course, which takes students with a nursing or life sciences background and allows them to do a two year master's. We've got practical facilities, including mock hospital suites. Um, we've got a mock ambulance for paramedic training. Um, and you can see we've got um, very realistic simulation dolls in our uh, teaching areas, which allow you to work on not real patients um, when you're studying with us. But then it means that you've got that practice that when you go into clinical practice, um, post after qualifying, but also during your studies on your placements, you've had um, expertise at practicing with realistic dummies that cry, they bleed, they breathe, so and they can all be controlled by our academic teams. 
So this is inside our law building. It's a replica crown court. It cost us a million pounds to do one room. Um, it's so realistic that it's often used in TV shows such as EastEnders. It's a popular British soap um, to be used as a recording area. Um, it's a place where you can practice your in-court skills. Um, you can record them as well. So the rooms, as well as our medical rooms, have recording facilities. So it means that you can do a practical session with your academic. And then in another session, you can record, uh, review the recording and then critique um, your uh, work. So the next time you do it, um, you'll be even better. So if you want to study optometry with us, which is an M optom, we've got pra practical facilities um, that replicate an optician. So it means, again, we've got these really practical facilities that you're learning in. So when you go into clinical practice, you'd have used all the correct equipment. You'd have practiced with practice paper patients. And it means that your career um, will grow really uh, well. So 96% of our students are in work or further study after six months. And that's really down to the teaching that we do. It's industry informed. So we work with business and the professional bodies to inform our courses. And also because we're teaching people in a really practical setting, um, they've got the skills that they need to go into employment. We also have a really great career service. Um, they're there to support you in getting part-time jobs, graduate jobs, and also your placement years, which we have on some of our postgraduate programmes and a lot of our undergraduate programmes. Um, that support is also available for after two years um, of study as well, and that's via our online platform, Career Hub. So it means that you get career support all the way through your studies, but also for up to two years after your studies. So after your studies, so... Uh, one of the things we're really proud of is where we graduate our students. So this is St Albans Cathedral. Um, it's a town or city about five minutes drive away from the university. It's a beautiful Roman city um, and actually in our September graduations all of our students graduate from this place. So it's a great place to bring your parents over um, and it's provides really great pictures as you can imagine there's a great park next to it called Verulam Park um, and it's one of the nicest days in the university calendar because it brings together all of the work you've done while studying with us and you get to celebrate with family and your peers in such a beautiful setting. So on our de Havilland campus we've got a mezzanine area so this is above the atrium in the de Havilland campus so if you're studying business, law, education or humanities one of the places that students like to relax but also study outside the library is this mezzanine area. You can see the spaces for computer setups, but also great places to meet with your friends and your tutors. And um, it's a really informal space. It's got vending machines as well, and it's just outside your lecture room. So if you've got a half an hour break between lectures, you can just go to the mezzanine area with your friends, catch up on some work, and then you're only a minute's walk from your next class. So I talked about the Unobus network. So the university is quite unique that it owns its own bus company. This is one of the buses. It goes to Queensbury and Edgware in London, which is on the Tube network. Um, so this means that you, if you don't want to live on campus with us, um, you can live in the local community. So what we'd advise is that you're no more than half an hour away from the university. Um, but um, we'd also advise that you're on the Unobus network. So it just makes it easier to get to class. And we have some extended services um, that allow you to access classes, which are maybe in the evening around seven o'clock. Um, it's a really affordable price um, and they are discounted for students as well um, but yeah if you're going to study in the local area or in a local town please try and get on the Unobus network. So some students while they're studying with us especially on our undergraduate programs choose to combine studying in the UK with studying another year abroad so we've got a program called the BA International Business which includes a study abroad year um, you, we study in 30, uh, sorry, 43 different countries across the globe, and it's a great way to build on your studies in the United Kingdom with some studies overseas as well. And you can study in America, Europe, um, East Asia, um, and that's available on our undergraduate programmes. So I talked about the Enterprise Hub late, earlier. So this is an example of one of the flexible spaces we've got in the Enterprise Hub. It's a beautiful space to study. Um, you can see we've put some really comfortable seating in there and it just means that you can catch up with friends, um, grab a coffee, um, have a group team meeting if you've got a group project or if you want to do some independent studies, there's some great little study booths in there. 
It will be slightly louder than the library, but if you don't want to study in the library, um, you can study in this flexible space. And we've designed it so it looks like a co-working space that you see in London, where a lot of businesses now operate. So one of the things that our engineering students can do is join the Formula student team. So the Formula student team is a race team that races internationally in Germany. Um, it's a course for our automotive engineers and our, some of our mechanical engineers. And basically, during your studies, um, and if you're doing the M Eng or the B Eng, you can um, practice on a live race team. It's funded partly by the university. So you build a car from scratch, race the car, test the car using our um, simulators um, and it's a really great practical experience so if you want to work in the automotive industry or motor score this is a great experience to do while studying your degree with us um, the uh, it's got its own test area and it's also got its own workshop and they're just behind the automotive engineering laboratories so in our science building this is an example of how modern our science uh, facilities are for life sciences and pharmaceutics you can see it's a really bright, open, modern laboratory with um, lots of power, connections to networks. So if you're running experiments through a laptop, you can see that here going on there. We provide all of the laboratory kit that you need, um, including um, all of the equipment, but also the PPE such as uh, gowns, uh, glasses, and also hair nets as well. So this is where you'll be learning if you're studying life sciences or biosciences with us. If you're studying aerospace engineering, we've got uh, flight simulators within the university. Um, and we also have a program called Pilot Studies, which does allow you to um, gain a pilot's qualification during your studies. So you can build and simulate our, um, a plane, put it in a wind tunnel to see how aerodynamic it is, but then also test how it would fly in a realistic situation in our, um, in our test um, flight simulators. So some students during their studies like to give back and volunteer in the community. So this is a great way and you do this through the student union. Um, you can either join a society or take on one of our volunteering opportunities. So why volunteering is important for international students and UK students is because it puts something on your CV. It shows you've given back either professionally using your skills or in a community project. And when you're building your CV to apply for placements or graduate jobs, it shows that you've got some work experience already. It, might, it won't be paid because it's volunteering, but a lot of employers do look for volunteering these days when they are employing um, students. Again, this is another picture of the Formula student team. So you can see it's an active workshop and students are going to be working on the cars. Um, as I said, um, it's built and uh, designed fully by the students with the support of our academic teams. Um, and it will mean that you potentially get to race overseas with the team as well. And we are funded by um, Santander for that, but we also work with the Institute of Mechanical Engineers on it as well. So it's a great opportunity there. So if you want to study, uh, do sports while you're um, with us at the University of Hertfordshire, so you can do these alongside your studies. We've got a series of op options. Um, if you want to play competitively um, against other universities, you can join one of our 31 sports teams. Um, we've got all of the major teams there. Uh, so from football to cricket to netball um, to rugby to American football. Um, we've got sports pitches and you train normally on a Monday and play normally on a Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon. However, if you don't want to play competitively, um, we have campus sport as well, which is uh, play against your uh, friends with you. So we've got a couple of uh, more relaxed leagues, which are internally only. Or if you just want to stay fit and you don't want to make use of the gym, um, we have a free programme called Active Students. So they run on campus fitness sessions and they can be anything from yoga to Zumba to football to netball to roller skating. And they run them all the way through the term and they're completely free of charge. No sign up, just turn up. And if you want to stay fit, um, it's a great option for that. We also have our gyms, and I talked about these earlier. Um, so on College Lane, it's a 24-7 smaller gym. It's a cardio and resistance weights gym. Um, and on De Havilland, it's our largest sports village, which has a um, swimming pool, rock climbing wall, indoor courts, cardio gym, resistance weights gym, and a free weights gym as well. So there's loads of options there. These are charged on top of your course fees, but they're really uh, reasonably priced. Um, you can have a bronze, silver, or gold membership. 
and the gold membership also gets you access to other university gyms in the country um, as well. So if you go and visit a friend at another university and they're part of this scheme, it means that you can also um, use their gym facilities as well. So that's a, this is the rock climbing wall. So it's just on the entrance to our sports village and you can book a slot with our trained instructor on that. Um, it's quite a unique facility. Not many universities have their own rock climbing. What else you can do to stay fit, um, slightly different from the normal fitness activities. This is an example of one of our teams in play. It's a rugby team. Um, and so you can see how close the sports pitches are to the campus there, the Haviland campus. Just behind it there, you can see the accommodation and the teaching area. We've got about seven pitches outside for football, rugby, uh, and some AstroTurf pitches for things like hockey. So inside our sports village, we've got a 25 meter pool with viewing area. So we often host regular swimming galas, and we also have a swim team um, that compete um, against other universities. You can see it's a great modern swimming pool uh, with um, really great facilities, um, and we've also laying it as well. So it means that if you want to just have relaxed swimming, you can do that. But also if you want to train and practice um, length swimming, obviously you've got that area as well. You can have a swim only membership to the university's gym, um, but most students combine this with a gym membership. So this is another example of some of our sports teams. So this is one of our indoor sports areas. So we've got three sports um, indoor pitches, as well as a cricket hall as well for indoor cricket. And this is us playing the University of Derby against them in what's called varsity. So every year there's a varsity, which is played against the University of Derby. Um, students will basically compete in loads of sports um, against that university on that day, and one university will be the winner. You can see that students go and watch this and sit in the stands. Um, so this will be something that will hopefully run again uh, once campus reopens in October. Um, and it's a great, exciting day that all students get behind. So as I said earlier, we've got over 24,000 students studying with us at the University of Hertfordshire. And actually we have uh, students from over 100 different countries. So um, you may be coming from India, China, Brazil, Nigeria, or mainland Europe. So there's loads of students from different parts of the world. So you should finish your degree with both a global friendship group, um, as well as uh, students from your own country, but also some British students as well. So hopefully your studies here will be enjoyable and academic, but also will provide you with lots of um, opportunities to make friends around the world. And you can see this is um, a group of students relaxing on our campus. Um, a lot of students choose to relax on campus between lectures. This is on our College Lane campus and you can see the leafy green space here as well. Um, we're really proud of the outside spaces we've produced here at the University of Hertfordshire. Um, they are great just to relax with friends. Uh, hopefully it's sunny. Um, it normally is quite sunny um, as we go into autumn and also into the spring summer. Um, it's a little bit colder in the winter as you can imagine but obviously we've got those indoor spaces as well, I've told you about um, as well. So those indoor spaces can also be in your halls of residence or the student accommodation. So a lot of students choose to live in accommodation on their first year. So we've got over 4,800 rooms across both campuses. They're a mixture of ensuite and non-ensuite, and we also do have some twin or studio options as well. Um, they have um, relax areas, so there's a lounge and kitchen, um, you don't normally share a kitchen with more than 10 to 12 people, but you can see it's a great place to meet people, relax after lectures and uh, create friendships as well. So you can see another angle. So these are both taken from the same kitchen area. So you can see there's um, ample space, ample cooking space. Um, there's lots of fridge space as well. So don't worry about um, there not being enough room uh, for your food. And you can see there's a table there as well. So it's a really communal area. Um, and these are in all of our flats as well. So this is an example of a twin room. It's our cheapest room on campus. Um, it's uh, ho there for two students. It is en suite, but obviously you will be sharing that bathroom and bedroom with another student, but there are two desk areas in these rooms as well. So we've provided lots of different options um, for students to live on campus, depending on their budget. Anything from a twin room, which is the cheapest, to a a more affordable non ensuite bedroom, um, ensuite bedrooms, and also for our most expensive room, which is a studio room, which has a private kitchen, bathroom area, and bedroom and dining area as well. 
but you can see in these rooms there's lots of storage space lots of wardrobe space as well and you can make these rooms really feel quite homely so this is one of our ensuite rooms um, on campus so you can see you're not sharing a room in this area but obviously the room is slightly smaller but again you've got that desk space plenty of plug points a nice double bed for you as well depending on which room you get um, and loads of places for your books etc and also your clothes slightly larger wardrobe in this one as well uh, but you can see just outside the window the really modern campus that we've got as well in spaces as well in the halls of residence as I showed you on that first picture of College Lane. So if you want to find out more about the University of Hertfordshire um, you can attend our digital open day. So you can go to go.hearts.ac.uk forward slash international open day. It's open right now. Um, it's open 24 seven. So you can go at any point you want to. Um, you can speak to our team on live chat. And so we've got all of our country managers um, as well as all of our student recruitment team as well. Ask any questions about living at Hertfordshire and studying at Hearts. Um, the open day also has all of our webinars and talks um, there. It's also got course videos, subject talks, um, but also some mock lectures as well, which is, means you can get a flavour for what it would be like studying with us here at the University of Hertfordshire. Um, we're constantly updating this page to have more information for you, and we hope that it's a real hub to find out what it's like to live at the University of Hertfordshire. And we've also put some great student stories in there of some of our current international students who are studying with us at the University of Hertfordshire.